What up fam and welcome back to our channel. I'm Dib and before we get into much today make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop goodies like these. Welcome back. It's such a treat. Great play fam. Come on. Let's eat. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for everyone that's joining us today. We thank you for mishaps because mishaps can lead to some of the greatest things in our lives. A lot of mishaps led me to where I am today and I'm thankful for every bump in the road that I've had along the way because they've helped develop character and build me who I am today. So, in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, before you guys today, we have a... We've got some Salisbury meatballs, mashed potatoes, sweet peas, some squash. Some squash. Yeah, some squash. And I don't know where you from, but Cool Cup, Bebop, Freeze Cup. The wide array of names that Frozen Kool-Aid is known by. In some places, you're going to get it with your styrofoam cup. Mm. With your styrofoam cups, they be slapped. What did I press that animal, Mommy? We got a lot of new family members. Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all can be any one of these YouTube streets, but y'all chose to be with us. And for that, we sure do appreciate you. It is still any day now on Bay Boy, so we're just waiting and prepping. To be as prepared as we can. Praying for guidance, praying for safe passage. Praying that the Lord be with us and nothing out of the ordinary happens this time that hasn't occurred before. Because you know you gotta pray a blanket covering and protection over that wound. I know I keep on telling y'all, I was gonna eat this, but this channel of mine. I made it Adonis, some mashed potatoes. And he fed me like, Dad, you gonna have some of this. And those buttery potatoes were so good. But I didn't have out any meat nor the time for some Salisbury steak, so Meatballs were a good go between and substitute. If you're new to the channel, we've got construction workers, and one of them have decided to grace the presence of the scene right now to sit and converse with his mother on the sidelines. So my appointment today was bittersweet because I go in and take a mind this is a three month follow up from the scope and upper endoscopy that I had. So I'm trying to follow up like, okay look, it's been three months, got to get my meds, like what's the deal? So when I get in the office, my GI doc asked me about the Dexlant. Which if you're new, we talked about that in the past. From when I was working at Social Security and when I wound up getting hurt on the job, that whole issue there wound up causing me to lose my personal insurance. 
So, fast forward. And, practically long story short. Mm. That's so good. delicious <clears throat> excuse me however the medication that I was prescribed Dexalent from my civilian doctor 60 bucks a pill yeah but I already done all the workups like I'd already tried Nexium to no avail Protonics to no avail Probably sick to no avail. Tagamet, FD Guard, Pepsi. The whole workup. But again, with the cost of the medication, there was one point in time where the VA wasn't even offering it whatsoever. So that already, that already kind of was one of the hiccups. Cut on. Yeah, turn on fan. Hot. But yeah, there was a time where I couldn't get it through the VA. And it's the only thing that's in my works. So when I get in and the doc asks me, well, how, how's Dixon been going? First thing that came out of my mouth is over with. Cause I ain't had no dicks in it. And keep in mind over the past three months I've been calling to the clinic, leaving messages for her and everything. But apparently things have not been getting relayed back. And that was compounded with the fact that the Pharmacy kicked it back for a a PA and didn't even notify her, so she didn't even know to have the tech that usually does it to go in and put in the PA. Because she wasn't thinking she was gonna have to do that since the workup, even on the VA side, I'd already gone through everything that I already mentioned. And the denial in requesting the PA was saying that pretty much I need to do a workup. Which my stomach problems have been something that's been going on since my time of active service. And at this point, practically a decade. So, I'm just like, what are y'all talking about? And for me, that's someone not doing their job because they haven't been prescribed the medications, every single medication on the list that was recommended that I need to try before they can do the Dexlimp without a PA, I'd already tried, taken for two to three months, depending on the medication. Some of them cycle through multiple doses to only be trying to be sent back to square one. But needless to say, the the GI doc, she was livid and she said it was going to be the um, the highlight of her day to at least get the PA put in. 
So she told me if I don't hear from her within 72 hours to give them a call back. So not even according to plan, but all goes well. I should be able to start back getting the medication that I need for my GI problems. So good. And I know I surely can't be the only one sometimes who craves the simplest meals because this isn't really over the top or lavish but although somebody would try to bash me in the head and call it a cardinal sin but right about now I'm having the same place if I was sitting here doing a D-shell a D-shell seafood boiling me for the elaborate because while they both have their own different flavor lanes, but this is what I wanted. This is the flavor that I wanted. The merriment of foods that I wanted. So while it might not be a um, chef five star meal, the combination of things is a five star flavor palette pleaser. At least for myself. Sugar sitting in the bottom of milk. Oh man. Turn your beverage into a sweet treat at the same time. So, with my allergies, there is a nasal spray that I'm to take about a half an hour to 45 minutes before I eat. that'll help with the congestion and the excessive drainage like because sometimes when I'm eating it's hard to breathe because I don't know why and what reason my allergies flare up like that but it's not perfectly splendid it's absolutely dreadful that a PS is AD. As always, my wonderful, loving, caring wife hooked this all the way up. And we killed two birds and one stone. She was craving ice cream. So, instead of me cooking my food, that was her compromise. If you go to the store to get ice cream, I can cook your food while you're gone. And when you get back, you can eat. I can have my ice cream. Win-win for both of us. It definitely saved time.
but this is probably about to be my last bite of meatball because I'm trying to save a little bit of room for this Twix ice cream. Perdona me. I don't know why, but at the end of the video, it's usually when a lot of questions pop up in my head. And I always say, oh, i ask them that next time. I'll ask them that next time. Next time never comes. I'm happy so I get a notepad, keep it on the side of me. So I can write these things down that I think of in the midst of these videos. I genuinely wonder. <clears throat> for those of you who comment, reading your comments, for the most part, usually is a blessing and a pleasure. But as with anything, you know, there's if you're doing, you ain't doing something right if you don't have somebody that's on you adversely unnecessarily. So sometimes there are trolly comments, but for the most part, we have a pretty good fam. So that's not something we really have to worry about a lot. Although they do come by and usually is handled accordingly. I remember as a kid, like whatever neighborhood we went to, that was one of the things that everybody always, me, my cousins, my siblings, where the can lady at? What kind of can she got? And especially do she sell bebops. And back then, Excuse me. At least here. I don't know how it is where you are from. But the kind of cup, it really didn't matter. If it was a plastic cup, a lot of people were not going there. One of the reasons because getting the frozen uh frozen sugar water about the cup is much easier with styrofoam. while the plastic cups can be safer oh no styrofoam just tastes like a whole different level to me and of course everyone has their own personal preference but as for deb and his now i really got no preference
Well, sadly, we have come to a point in the video where we must let you guys go. So until next video, fam, stay safe, stay blessed, and be that life for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for somebody else today and how it could turn around for the better. So love you guys.